I'm still super blind. So what do we do? Do we remove the wallpaper or do we paint over it? So there you have it. Ooh, what was this video for again? Hey guys, we're here in this office and there's this beautiful wallpaper on the wall. The only problem is we want them to paint it. So what do we do? Do we remove the wallpaper or do we paint over it? Well, you can do both actually. Generally, we recommend, if possible, take the wallpaper off and start fresh. In some cases, it's not possible and sometimes it's just not worth your time. If your wallpaper is in good condition, there's really no reason you can't paint over it. But there's a couple of things that you gotta keep in mind if that's what you're gonna do. And what kind of primer should you use? Not just any old primer will do. The reason being, if you use a water-based primer on wallpaper, what can happen is the water can activate the adhesive and cause the wallpaper to delaminate or start falling off the wall, essentially. So it's a good idea to only use a solvent-based primer, like this one here. This won't activate the glue, and it should actually help to stick and seal better for your next coats of paint. So priming is step one. We're gonna get some paint on the walls, and we'll check back in after we do. Okay, as you can see, the walls have all been primed up with some heavy-duty solvent-based primer. Now you can see it looks like a blank canvas, but what you'll notice is the seams and other imperfections start to jump out at this stage. So now that's been primed and sealed, this is a good time to go and do a little remediation or do some repairs wherever there's holes. If, if the seams really bother you, you could even fill those, but again, the more time you spend on this, you get to that point where you, maybe you should have just removed the wallpaper in the first place. So for example, we've had a screw in the wall here. So at this point we've sanded it back, put some filler in there, sanded that flat, and now we're ready to slap some paint on this guy. So when this is all painted up with wall paint, we're gonna show you how it looks and you'll see that you can indeed paint over wallpaper and have it look pretty good. Okay, so we're back here. I've got one coat of the final color on the walls, and after seeing how it looks painted, um, clients have decided that they'd rather not have the seams be quite so prominent. Ideally, this happens before the paint goes on the wall, but that's not a problem. If it does, what we're doing now is we're gonna remediate those seams. So the first step is to eliminate as much of the raised surface and fill them with some mud or some drywall compound. It might take a couple coats, but after a few coats, the seams will disappear and we're going to show you what that looks like. So essentially all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trowel and I'm going to run it along that seam. Anyway, step one, scrape off the raised edge and we're going to fill that with a coat of mud. So, I just finished sanding all the walls and a couple of important things to think about. Number one, make sure uh, it's a very fine line between smoothing out the seam and creating a big hump. What you don't want to happen is that you put on so much mud that when you sand it, uh, the seam is hidden, but there's a lump in the wall that's going to be noticeable too. So just make sure that you sand carefully and you don't want to 
reveal the seam, but you also don't want to have a big hump on every seam. And number two, just um, give it a quick prime coat and, um, and let it dry before you judge how much mud you put on or how much mud you have put on. You're not going to know whether the seams are hidden until the paint is fully dry because sometimes what happens is the seam itself stays wet for a little bit longer so it looks like it's showing when in reality it will disappear. So prime it, let it dry, take it from there. There you have it. What was this? What was this video for again? I think we were gonna find out if you can paint wallpaper or not. Wall in here? Wallpaper? Wallpaper? No. I'm just kidding. You've got your answer. You certainly can. Is it easy? Not necessarily. There's a few steps you gotta do to make sure it looks good. You might run into a few problems along the way, but ultimately, you definitely can paint over wallpaper. You just gotta prep it properly first. But as you can see, it looks like there was never wallpaper in here in the first place. Take a look around, tell me if you like what you see, and check back later for more.